In March of 2002, we were called on to support a uh, downed Chinook over uh, a mountain that, that is now referred to as Roberts Ridge. They were conducting an operation in that region to take the fight more effectively to the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. Unfortunately, one of their Chinook helicopters had suffered a, a shot down. So the team got on site moments after the shot down. Uh, I was serving as the on-scene commander. He's, I got a hold of, of, a, of a Pred, MQ-1 Pred, and he had situation awareness of what was going on. I did a talk on and established where I was at. He was giving me situational uh, awareness updates, so it cut my workload dramatically. They were receiving effective fire from a bunker in close proximity to the helicopter just up the hill, and it, it proved to be a very challenging target. Um, he asked the team to put a Hellfire missile into the bunker. He had one shot left. Um, we had been on the, on the ground for a few hours. I cleared a hot. When that Hellfire went into that bunker, beyond a shadow of a doubt, um, that bunker was, was, uh, had been neutralized. I credit that pilot the technology in that airframe to saving my life as well as the teams and getting the wounded KIA out of that hilltop that day. There's a good chance I may not be here without, without that Pred, without the MQ-1. Yeah, there's a pretty good chance a lot of folks would be here without it. The medium-altitude MQ-9B Sky Guardian drone will make its first-ever transatlantic flight to the Royal International Air Tattoo in the UK next month, General Atomics announced on Monday. The long-endurance remotely piloted aircraft is scheduled to fly from the company's flight test centre in Grand Forks, North Dakota, to RAF Fairford in Gloucestershire, UK the company said in a release. General Atomics will demonstrate a new standard in RPA flight endurance by flying the Sky Guardian across the Atlantic in honor of the Royal Air Force's centennial celebration, said Lyndon Blue, CEO of General Atomics Aeronautical Systems. Given the distinguished 100-year history of the RAF, we believe that this flight is an appropriate way to celebrate the RAF's position as a leader in innovation, Blue said in a release. MQ-9B is the latest version of General Atomic's multi-mission Predator B fleet, and a variant of its maritime intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance Sea Guardian, the release said. The RAF plans to buy the Sky Guardian as part of its Protector RGMK-1 program, it said. Recent tests of the Sky Guardian show the drone can fly non-stop for more than 48 hours, surpassing its projected max endurance of 40 hours, officials said. In comparison to its MQ-1 Predator and MQ-9 Reaper cousins, the MQ-9B, which can fly roughly 240 miles per hour, has been tailored to withstand more damage and weather conditions, including ice, and has been incorporated with more robust flight control software, according to General Atomic's description of the drone. The Sky Guardian would also be able to fly even in the event of a bird or lightning strike. The drone has been tested to meet requirements from the UK Military Airworthiness Authority MA, the US Federal Aviation Administration, and will also meet NATO standard certification, officials have said. Type certification, together with an extensively tested collision avoidance system, will allow unrestricted operations in all classes of civil airspace, the release said. <laughs>